Okay, um, hi everybody. Uh, I'm Paul, um, and I'll be talking about um, uh, Villa da Lava from uh, um, Kohlhaas uh, in uh, Paris, and uh, to meet the house um, about the night. And I'll just start then uh, with the text. To see it full screen? Yeah, okay, perfect. Lily, Speedo, and Jonathan Piloti. In the beginning, God speaks the law. Etymology from the root leg to lie down lay, plants the garden between two seas. The garden is an island, a summit, a shelter. Since the island is a second origin, it is entrusted to man and not to the gods. The night is of moral darkness. The irony of things and the reversal are to be savored. Compose a garden instead, the roof. The night was still, fit for walking, though any night would have seemed so to them, desiring more than anything movement, freedom from scrutiny, silence, and the open air. Olivier, French for olive tree, symbol of peace, law and order, is swimming in the open lap pool on the roof. The unsteady orange fence used for construction moves in the wind, the body breathes. It enjoys it so much that it tries to lose its breath and get it back again. Like a desired woman who flees and reappears, the gasping intake of breath acknowledges the divine. Exercise it day and night. Lily, a white flower, born from the milk of Junon, spilled on earth while nursing Hercules, stands on the artificial lawn, the gazon artificiel next to the pool, on the flat roof of the apartment facing the street. The word gazon had been introduced in the Gallic Roman Empire as a legal term on investiture or inauguration, as the Franks had the usage to offer a glove and a piece of lawn or gazon as a symbol of handing over land. A little later, artificiel becomes the imitation of nature by the means of art, ciel being French for sky or heaven, residence to God. On the white tower next to the watch and swimming goggles lies Angelina Jolie on the cover of Vogue. She just finished the movie Cyborg 2 and is now filming the erotic thriller The Original Sin with Antonio Banderas. The cyborg is resolutely committed to partiality, irony, intimacy and perversity. A cyborg is not innocent. It was not born in the garden. Then it no longer matters if the garden in which Adam sins is not the same one in which Adam cannot sin. The cyborg would not recognize the Garden of Eden. Page 15 features an interview with Jack Lang, former Minister de la Culture. Having studied law to please my parents, I grew bored and I wanted to be an art dealer. Compose a garden instead, then the aesthetic error of submitting everything to a law. The founding moment of origin of modern law is mystical. If a right is natural and universal, it emanates from nowhere in particular and therefore does not belong anywhere in particular. Lily sees the first guests as they arrive down the street. The group carries their gods in bags and walkmans. Olivier takes a shower next to the path connecting the two apartments and its railing hosting the white speedos to dry between the roof and the retractable ladder leading to the garden. O oh, new gods of our health, we pray to you. This new body appears in our icons for fashion or sport, in our demands for health or appearance. Via diets, exercise, drugs or excess, we have entered the Feast of Grace, yet the table of immortality. Olivier hears the chatter and dancing of the water sprinklers in the garden. Rule number five, enjoy the vitality of modern life, the garden. Lily stands in the garden amidst the festivities. Frequency 100.7 on the radio. Mick Jagger sings of brown sugar from the album Sticky Fingers from 1971. Side one, brown sugar, sway, wild horses. Can't you hear me knocking? 
you gotta move. She's modern and denounces marriage, morality, the church and the state as inventions of men. The statesman and the whore can do anybody. To reestablish peace, the mortal god of the state had to take the place of the immortal god. Ava is a variant of Eve, and according to the Oxford Dictionary, it may well be a modern invention. The house is a structural cocktail. The open lap pool, supported by the wall of pillars and a loading wall, works as a global bracing, connecting two apartments shifted in opposite directions. A variable section beam supports the apartment facing the garden. A group of drunken pilotis, leaning in different directions about seven degrees and supporting the apartment facing the street, welcomes Mr. and Mrs. Savoie. Yes, yes, I said with irony, you are afraid of him. The skylight from the basement adjacent to the garden rises to an angle of about 35 degrees. Epicioli, the movement of which was measured, rose eight degrees. Cotyledons generally rise to an angle of about 45 degrees above the horizon. At night, plants breathe, eating what they produce during day while in photosynthesis. They do not sleep at night. Mick Jagger, side two. Bitch, I got the blues. Sister Morphine, dead flowers, moonlight mile. The sliding windows are open and the wind caresses the continuous carpet that is the garden and the terrazzo. I like to live in the dark, in a material sense, as well as a moral sense. The man in the public eye enjoys no freedom. I practice seeing in the dark. A daybed sits in the corner. To fall asleep is to acquiesce. Waking tends towards refusal. Further down the garden is the kitchen. All we need is fruit in the superlapsarian garden where abundance flows outside of time, behind curved translucent polyester panels referred to as mixtures under the European classification, labeling and packaging of CLP regulation number 1272, 2008. In modern thought, irony and humor take a new form. They are now directed at a subversion of the law. It seems that the analysis of governmentality, that is to say, the analysis of power as an ensemble of reservable relations, must refer itself to an ethic of the subject defined by the relation of the self to itself. The ironic text, as such, demands a rethinking of the subject's relation to power, pleasure, and the institutions that seek to regulate and produce them. What a truly ethic must be then, is not a set of rules or codes, but a thought from the outside, to reflect on ourselves, to make them anew. The dishwasher sways and swings. It allows five settings, normal, delicate, quick, upper only and power scrub for extra clean and healthy dishes, bright like the sun. Before there was original sin, there was law and legislator. And from them came the sentence and everything that followed. Was it really about eating? Adam asks. Some of the guests have left the room where the noises have abated. The others drunk from having imbibed the whole night through, snore away, collapsed on beds. Mick Jagger again, you gotta move. God is a transcendent business resource, the apartments. Night does not anesthetize the skin, but makes it more subtly aware. A big sliding window opens the apartment facing the street to the garden with its parrots, green grass, and colorful flowers. Grace penetrates the fissures of an open body. Ethics, the timeless morality of gratuity. We receive sense state as a gift without reciprocating, exercise it in the night. At opposite ends, separate stairs lead to the apartments, each with a workspace, a bath and a bedroom. Next to her, the TV is playing. Channel 26, Wimbledon. Channel 27, the financial analyst recommends a butterfly as it is limited risk, non-directional option strategy, and as the markets are currently quite volatile. In order to stay tuned to the frequencies of the real world's flow, 
A contemporary god would have to present himself as an accomplice to activation. Otherwise, he would become a mere god of recess, a god of relaxation, a god for the weak and for bad hours. 28. Kardashians. The Glasswell citizen abandons his old house and moves into the conservatory, which is aesthetically linked to the garden, floodlit at night by glass walls and screens that extend its structure into the surroundings. A record of Madama Butterfly by Puccini leans the lungs against the wooden rocking horse. Compared to Wagner's leitmotif technique, Puccini's approach to the leitmotif is simple. In the three operas, La Boheme, Tosca, and Madame a Butterfly, most of the leitmotifs are used in a manner that is similar to the reminiscence motif. That is, in their reappearances, the motifs retain generally their melodic shape, but sometimes there are changes in rhythm, harmony, and tempo. While modernism has repeatedly heralded as one of its paradigmatic and even moral light motifs, the transparent correlation between its aesthetic and its conceptual program, irony now is in a real sense embodied in the formal structures of the works. The ultimate absurdity of the juxtapositions predicated by zoning, life, work, recreation is exploited as a formal device. On the floor, a desk lamp, a luce, and a box of aspirin. Morality could be administered like commerce by economics. Judgments make you very heavy. Rather postpone the moment of judgment, the issue of morality, until the last moment, or occasionally suspend it entirely. A wide speed of flutters in the wind. A night butterfly joins its dance. That's it.